Okay, so just a quick recording this morning, um, just to give you guys some more information on how to file your um, small business loan application with the IRD. Um, I did have a number of clients um, done up in a list that I was going to do the applications for them, but um, we found out that you actually have to do it yourself um, using your MyIR login. Um, to I've I've done it for a, like on a test case. Um, it looks pretty easy to do, as you'll see shortly. But um, I mean, there's there's two points that I think. Well, three points that I think um, are probably going to be the the hardest parts. The first part is actually having a MyIR login and actually being able to log in. Out of those five clients that I was going to do, um, four of them either didn't have a MyIR or didn't know what the login was so once you get that sorted uh, that's one of the biggest hurdles um, the next hurdle is actually you're supposed to do a forecast or a, or a business plan to make sure that the business is viable um, you don't actually have to upload that to the IRD but you have to have it available if they want to see it um, if you get audited at a later date uh, so it's a good idea to go through that um, we can help you out with that. Um, I'll put some uh, links in our blog and, and, and on our Facebook site. Um, there's actually a, a template you can run through with on the IAD's website um, to, to help with that. Uh, and the other thing is you need your New Zealand business number. This will be easy if you're a company. You just need to look on the company's office and see what your um, business number is. But if you're a sole trader or a partnership, uh, you don't automatically have one. So um, you'll have to actually get one. Uh, so there's another application process to go through um, before you can do that. Uh, I'll put more information on our blog entry about that as well. Um, okay, so um, we'll just go through the screenshots here. Um, so as I said, the first step is to log in to your MyIR. Once you've logged in, the first screen that shows up is, is your little dashboard thing. Uh, you need to click on the um, apply for a small business loan uh, button. And that brings up the next screen, which has got information on the loan and your eligibility and stuff like that. Um, I mean, to be eligible, basically, um, you need to have been eligible for the uh, wage subsidy and to actually have applied and received the wage subsidy. Um, so yeah, just go through the this information and then click on the next button. The next screen that pops up. Um, so up the top here, you've got your New Zealand business number that you need to enter in, um, and then you've got to go and answer these questions down here, um, and then the bit down the bottom where you're saying yes that you've got your um, your forecast or your business plan and that the business is actually viable and then click on next the next screen that pops up so this actually calculates automatically based on what your wage subsidy application information was so it's got the wage subsidy stuff up the top and then down the bottom here it calculates it converts that into how much of a loan you're allowed uh, do you want to apply for the maximum loan you could say apply for less if you don't think you need that much um, so you click on no and, and overwrite the figure down the bottom if you wanted to do that um, you also then need to tick down the bottom and then click on the next screen and that'll pop you through to the bit where you need to put your bank account information in um, this question about credit union or building society account I think that's if you've got like a co-op bank or something like that where they actually have to have an ex extra reference number most of you will just be no no on that click on the next button then it brings up all the terms which you have to uh, have a read through um, and tick the bottom the uh, button box down the bottom to say that you're happy with that and then click on next uh, then it brings up a little summary of the loan and another box for you to tick to say that you agree with everything and then click on submit and just to be sure to be sure uh, you have to click on OK again to make sure that you're triply sure that you want to send it off so click on that and away it goes and it'll come back with a little screen saying um, that it should process within five working days um, 
and we'll just have to see how that goes.